So this is going to be the audio, that's going to be the, the video. So I'll try and hold it out of out of frame to capture the no problem. video. Are we good? All right. So we just found another really cool maker here in the Ruben H. Fleet. So hi, who are you and what do you do? I'm Mike Viazzi and uh, my latest piece is Gromosh. It's a costume that I did for BlizzCon and uh, it's fully wearable and it's a big piece of silicone. I'm sorry, a costume. <laughs> that's a costume. Wow. Do you get to survive, like, like after? You can actually take the piece. Oh. It's a wearable piece. Whoa. This is, this is a big rubber suit. These are leather pants. And the uh, boots are, are wearable also, so the whole thing's big wearable support costume. Yeah, you, might, you might not want to tell, tell anyone that. <laughs> so, this, this, like, this is the only piece that's been 3D printed on them. The rest is all hand sculpted. Wow! I, how long? Uh, I made him over a year, but I probably only put about five months of work into him. Um, because there are a lot of stop times, a lot of times when you're trying to get money to make him. <laughs> um... There's a lot of pieces that I had to figure out how I was going to do it. Um, wow! So this is this is just incredible. This thing is amazing. How did you how did you get into into building stuff like this and learning all of these um, awesome skills? I've been doing stuff like this my whole life, sculpting things and um, making masks is something that that I really love doing. And I started with just the head. And when I did the head, then it's like, well, what am I going to do with just a head? <laughs> so then it's like, I've realized that I know how to do the body. It's just money and, and time. So oh. this sculpt took me, the, the sculpting the body took me about three months. And then molding it and then casting it took another month or two. Um, and then the rest of it is just EVA pieces and, and uh, think assemblage. This... The, the axe is just blue insulation foam carved. This is very lightweight. I mean, feel how light that is. Whoa! <laughs> this is like nothing. It's like what? It doesn't weigh almost Two anything. Two pounds? Because your hand what? is my, the hand. My hands are way back here in the piece. So because of leverage, it had to be very light. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, this is just a tube that fabric comes on. That's another piece of blue insulation foam. So yeah, it weighs hardly anything. It's like nothing. And that's some of the things you have to figure out when you're making a costume is how to make it wearable. Yeah, yeah. Because um, I know we, we talked to the 501st guys earlier, and some of those stormtroopers are, like, super me. hot and super oh, all that yeah, just because of the nature of the armor. The piece actually, um, if you look inside, it has little fans. There, oh. there are muffin fans built into it with pa battery packs that blow air up into it. He also has a... Uh, when you're wearing it, you can wear a ice uh, uh, pack suit that has a backpack that has ice in it and a pump. And then the suit has uh, a vest that has uh, tubing in it, and the tubing sits against your skin, similar to what NASA does. So it right. pumps water uh, against your skin, and it keeps you at about 68 degrees. So that helps a lot, but it's still wearing a big rubber suit, yeah. and you, you're exerting against it because not only is, is there some resistance with the skin, there's the mass of everything that you're holding. He weighs about 70 pounds. So you're, you're walking around with 70 pounds on your back. Wow, that is, wow, but, that is awesome. Yeah, he's a big, big costume. Wow, that's really cool. Have you done any other uh, really Mostly notable all, fun costumes? All, all the other stuff before this has been very small and simple. This was the biggest project I've ever done. What did you think of the Warcraft movie? Loved it. Loved it? Yeah, I'm a fan. I've been playing. I mean, I've been playing this since the beginning, for, since vanilla, yeah, yeah. Uh, since almost launch. Um, the movie to me was, was just an incredible piece of lore. I mean, it was had flaws, but it's still really nice to see. Yeah, yeah. Because one of the things that everybody said is, would the orcs be believable? And I think they nailed. Oh, yeah, it. yeah. I heard the, the orcs, orcs were the characters. most believable. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they, they were better than a lot of the humans. <laughs> Um, nice to and see, uh, he's actually based on the cinematic for the Warlords of Draenor game. Uh, they had really good reference, and I was able to do him from the reference. Wow, wow. That is 
Wow, that is yeah, probably <laughs> one of the hands down coolest things I have seen at the Maker Fair. Thanks. So far, do you have like a website or something? Or uh, I only have really have I have a website, but it's very limited. But I'm on Facebook, and if you go to my my, my page on Facebook, All right. um, it has actually the making of him in one of the photo albums. So you can see how it was sculpted, how it was molded, and how it was cast. Yeah. All right. You, all right. Well. Yeah, thank you so much for explaining it, and we can link all of that in the description below so you guys can check him out along with all the other groups we've mentioned. We really suggest checking this out because, man, this thing is awesome. Thanks. I, I'm serious Thanks about this. This is super cool. Wow. All right, cool. Well, Thanks. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks.